bring in an expert here. We have Kunal Shah, Senior Technical and Derivatives Analyst at LKP Securities who is joining us on the show. Kunal, good morning. Thank you so much for joining in. Uh, what are your views on the benchmarks? How are you trading the Nifty and the Bank Nifty at the moment? Yeah, I think uh, overall if you look at the markets, uh, we are, have seen a gap down opening today and I expect follow-up selling to come in. So for Nifty, the resistance is at 21,920 on the futures front. So my call will be to sell Nifty even at the current levels. We have got the minor pullback what we had. I'm expecting Nifty to touch 21,800 on the futures front in today's trading session. So Nifty continues to remain in a sell on rise mode uh, with 21,920 acting as a strong resistance. Uh, talking about Bank Nifty, here we have got some support from HDFC Bank, uh, which is acting positive. Uh, so for Bank Nifty, uh, I'll be a buyer on declines. So if you get declines on the Bank Nifty index, uh, you should buy the index. 46,800 is where currently it is trading. If you get somewhere around 46,500, 600 level, that will be the buy level for Bank Nifty. Keeping a stop loss of 46,200 and looking for targets of 47,200 on the upside. Right, Kunal. So constructive on Bank Nifty, but not so constructive on the Nifty 50. Uh, let's go into stocks, Kunal. Top trading ideas this morning. So as I discussed that uh, HDFC Bank is uh, uh, looking good on the charts. It has formed a double bottom on the uh, intraday charts as well. So I think there could be uh, a move in Bank Nifty or probably this will be the stock which will hold the index higher. So Bank Nifty, uh, so HDFC Bank is a buy at the current levels, keeping a stop loss of 1470 and looking for targets of 1530 to 1550 on the upside. Uh, the second call is on the sell side uh, and that is on Asian Paints. Uh, you have already seen the crude oil prices going again above the barrel of 90. Uh, so that will be paint companies will be under pressure. We have already seen breakdown in Berger paints. Uh, uh, Asian paints on the weekly chart has already given us a breakdown. So we might see some follow up selling coming on Asian paints as well. So Asian paints is a sell at the current market price. 28.50 is a stop loss on the downside and looking for targets of 2600 on the downside. Okay, uh, so that's as far as your what, picks go. Uh, well, very quickly, also taking a look at some of the key movers today, uh, where we can perhaps take a uh, you know, pick or two uh, from, from Gunnar's point of view. Uh, this is as far as your uh, increase in open interest is concerned when it comes to stocks and uh, M&M Financial, Sinji International, LIC Housing Finance, InfoEdge, Asian Paints. All of them are, well, declining in trade. And along with that, we're seeing an increase in open interest towards what looks like fresh shorts. Though, you know, on an, on an absolute basis, the numbers are not looking very large. So at the moment, it does seem like participants are also hesitant to go ahead and sell uh, in a very, very large manner at the moment. Um, that's notwithstanding, and you know, let's not forget, we are heading into earnings season. So I reckon that, uh, you know, a lot of participants out there may have a different point of view of looking at whether or not to bet towards the long side of the short side, given the kind of expectations from earnings coming through. This is your list of all the stocks which are seeing unwinding. We have about a short covering from Bharti, Etel, and ITC. Uh, but, um, well, longs unwinding for Orbinda Pharma, XR, and TCS. Uh, but uh, that's as far as your stocks are concerned. Well, on that note, I'm going to take a moment to thank Kunal for joining us and taking us through his views on the markets and also, of course, uh, giving us his top picks for today. And from there on, we get in. Uh,